All right, so let's talk about Amorant, uh, a one of the most known Twitch streamers in terms of booby streaming. She is perhaps the leader of booby streaming. Uh, she's been recently on Kick because I, I don't know, did she get banned from Twitch? Doesn't matter. Uh, Amorant has learned, and I have learned this from a YouTube video right here of Undead something. I don't know the guy, but he was commenting on Amorant had a ovarian failure. The wall is undefeated. And I said, excellent analysis of the egg situation of Amorant, who lost her best years selling sex online to incels. And it's not even selling sex, it's selling the delusion of sex. And people were telling me, Jeff, uh, should, should we shun uh, her? It's just, sh she got affected by a medical issue. Should we shun her? Was this her fault? I believe it could be partly her fault. It's certainly a lot her fault if you just consider the fact that she has used her whole first decade of reproductive life uh, because she's 29 years old. She has used a first decade where she would have been fertile. She has used that moment of her life to sell youth and sell a false sexual signals that ultimately has attracted the view, the, the visual attention of millions of males who have been masturbating, who have been coming into Kleenexes, sending their sperm into the void of non-reproduction and non-existence. So definitely there is a massive social consequences to letting Amorant and people like her do the business of the false sexual signals. And as I was explaining earlier, your, your civilization will fall if you don't shun that kind of behavior, if you don't have a social mechanism to direct young women into the reproductive life, and if in fact you encourage the other side, which is not only not reproductive, like she could have gone to the university and may not have had babies because she was so busy doing her PhD, but doing the commerce of non-reproduction, the commerce of selling false sexual stimulation to people, making it a business, and making it a business that drains from millions of simps out there who are just there standing, looking at her boob while she does unimportant stuff on the screen. If you don't shun that behavior, you're going to be replaced by people who shun that behavior. And it's going to be the Muslims, it's going to be whoever, whoever... At the end of it, in a thousand years from now, this entire earth is covered in social conservatives, family-oriented, shaming cultures. Whether you want to be part of the, the descent of humanity or you don't, that's what the earth is going to look like in a thousand years from now. The question is, do you want to let other people become these shaming cultures or do you want to do a little bit of shaming yourself? And I say we do a little bit of shaming, not so much to induce guilt in the head of Amorant. I don't wish her harm. I don't want her to be hurt. I think it's a dramatic thing to learn that you're never going to be able to have babies because... Uh, it, it is very important, and I'm sure she was counting on having babies since she has a husband. Um, but we need to shun her for the young females who are 18, 19 right now, and who have a choice between becoming amorant, getting the fake breast, getting the fake breast that come with precisely the, conse the medical consequences and medical, elevated medical risks to what she's suffering through right now, or adopt the family lifestyle and consider that giving birth to life, to sentient life of the humankind, is a noble goal. It is something to be honored, and it is actually a luck that women have to, be, to have this power to give birth and to give birth to the amount of babies they want and they choose. 
when they start early. So yes, the shunning has a civilizational justified purpose here, which is to, to, to give a message to the young ladies that there is a trade-off in this sex business on the internet. And the trade-off is not always laid out to young ladies very clearly. The trade-off is as follows. You have a finite amount of time. You have an even more finite amount of time for the moment where you will be fertile, capable of consent, economically in a good situation, with a good husband, capable of making babies. There's this, and then there's selling that for image generations on the internet. And when you do that, you can't really do this. Because if you're pregnant, you're going to be less beautiful, you're going to have a belly, you're of course going to be less attractive to the single men who are your simps, who are keeping your lifestyle up. So your system of giving away this for this as a consequence, you are playing with nature, you're taking risks, you're exchanging actual babies you could have had for money. And there is no guarantee that you're going to be able, when you decide and when you feel it's the right time, that you're going to be able to convert this money into baby. Because if your, ov oh, your ovaries start stopping to work because you had these boob implants that have debalanced your hormonal system, that have led your ovaries to believe that you're 70 years old, if, if that happens to you, you're not going to be capable of converting a single dollar that you've accumulated into what matters in life, which is baby making. James says she has done so much good in this world. Thousands of simps have less money. Um, assuming that this was sarcasm. Thomas says, how is that a lesser way of making money than playing low rent wolf of Wall Street with crypto? Because the crypto world is a world of resource allocation. What determines the success of future crypto is what, what these cryptos will give in terms of use. Therefore, someone who would have a good flair for the kind of cryptos that would be desirable would be a resource allocator of future uh, work, future economic energies of all kinds. So that is a legitimate function in the economic world. Uh, displaying boobs that don't lead to sex is purely a deceptive enterprise. It's a deceptive enterprise because I'm gonna I'm gonna show you. When your genes see this, your genes are just not prepared. Your genes are not prepared to see this shape right here. You see the circularity of the boob right here? Your genes, whenever they have seen a shape like this in the last 7 million years, they basically were a couple of minutes away from adding a new baby to their living decent. There is no way you can see these things anywhere else in nature. This is unmistakable for the genes. It is a flag of fertility, of availability of milk for your descent, which is why at the site of this shape right here, your dick gets hard, your body gets prepared for, for the uh, insemination and your genes know that there is a very good chance that not only will you have children, you will have children that will be extremely well fed with the proper milkers. Where it's deceptive, it's that um, your genes didn't know that there would one day be a world where you can get an infinity literally an infinity it just doesn't stop you scroll you scroll and you can get on our twitch you're, you're gonna have more you can get on our kick you're gonna have more you can go on our twitter account you're gonna see more your genes are simply not prepared for this 
and as such, it is a deceptive enterprise to be re because the reaction of your genes is if you ever see this. Just throw whatever resource you have at her. And, and that, that is the deceptive enterprise. Your genes are doing this in the hope that this will result in babies. But little did they know, it won't in 2023. Because we have evolved screens that can reproduce what your genes expected without giving you the egg. Uh, Jean-François, uh, I was about to say, Jean-François Garrier P says, <laughs> but that is me. <laughs> that is me saying menopause comes quick to punish those who sell their youth in the form of deceptive sexual signals. Use your body for the purpose intended by nature, making babies, or you risk losing it quicker than you think and go the way of amorant childless, eggless, for eternity. That is a big thing. It's a big thing to be like that for eternity. So what is it that she describes? Uh, she, because all of this stems from her canceling her boxing match or whatever. There was a fight prepared and she would have been participating to it. Just to clarify some things, because I think there has been some confusion Originally, I was told by medical team I was in an okay place to compete in La Velada despite my condition as it had not yet progressed to an extreme state. So in March, she was told that she had signs of a premature menopause, but they were hoping that it would turn for the best and that and that she wouldn't have one of these cycles of increased menopausal physiological activity in her body, but it turned for the worst. And she has experienced complete ovarian failure uh, recently and, and had all of the symptoms that are associated with premature menopause. So she tells a long story, but basically all this to say she knew she had something like this condition, but she didn't think it was dramatic for a couple of months, now it's dramatic. So that's why she's canceling her, uh, her appearance in this uh, sports event because she has to begin a $9,800 batch of medication that she received in a box. She received it uh, within 24 hours after her ordering it. Uh, it's a set of whatever hormones to try to rebalance her. And as she begins this, or these hormones, she cannot be having physical activity of any kind for at least two weeks. So you see the package that she received. It's, uh, and, and it's through injections. When you have premature menopause, I believe there is no... Uh, there, there are some things you can eat in pill, but part of the medication must be injected because it doesn't pass through the di digestive system. Uh, and it is related to breast implant. I believe that Amoran, and this is where it's her fault. This is where her business decisions have been sacrificing her ovary. Because there's been plenty of discussions before that breast implants are believed to be causing premature menopause. Five women talk about regretting their breast implants after experiencing side effects. I literally thought I was dying. One of these is a woman who has undergone premature menopause and she fully regrets her breast augmentation surgery. In fact, the premature menopause possibility is listed on the, plast the jlplasticsurgery.com as a potential symptom coming from, uh, from breast augmentation early onset of menopause. Uh, so you are, you are literally in the biological trade-off here between do I make money or do I make babies? And you have to sacrifice one of them for, for doing the other. And so we, we need to tell young women, look, this is the choice. You're, really, you're literally going to forego the potentiality of 
having babies. My future plans have been stolen. Woman shares shock diagnosis at 24. So this woman, uh, I don't think it was a case of breast implant, but th there are some women who will end up, and who knows, is it the modern world that causes these premature menopause? We'll never know. With the schedules of vaccinations, the plastics we're exposed to, the, the, nutri the bizarre nutrition of the modern world, who knows what it is? Are we causing these where there are more before, less before? I have no idea, and it's very hard to have a solid study on this. And most importantly, women with premature menopause stop having periods and cannot become pregnant. So whatever will be the solution uh, with Amoron? So the doctors are first going to try to combat the premature menopause with some hormonal manipulation. It's not going to work necessarily uh, because she says on her tweet that she's doing this medication around because she hopes to have babies because she, if she had gone to the fight, she would have sacrificed her ability to have babies ever. But let me tell you, it's still not clear to me that she's going to have babies because this whole round of medication will try to basically combat the whole premature menopause, try to restore our cycle of ovary production, of ovarian production. And if she's lucky, it's going to work. Uh, I don't know what are the percentages of success, but generally people with premature menopause will not ever have babies without massive medical interventions, massive strategies of like implanting the embryo of someone else, taking the eggs from some other woman, recycling the uterus of the woman who has a premature uh, ovarian failure. So we're talking about a lot of complexity and a lot of chan chances that it won't succeed. Uh, Go Away says, Jeff, do you know about the French guy that made millions using industrial instead of medical-grade silicone to make breast implants? Millions of women around the world had their breasts recalled. <laughs> okay, I had not heard about this. Of course, there is fraud out there. But I believe that breast implants are fraud in and of themselves, even if you get the medical grade, uh, you know, the medical grade uh, form of it. Uh, so all in all, in conclusion, our society is encouraging women to become so independent that it's to their to, against their interest. It's encouraging women to pursue wealth, which used to be a role of men. And in doing so, we have directed women toward non-reproductive lifestyles that are threatening our civilization in the sense that if we don't increase our birth rates, something else will replace us, some other culture some other genes, some other civilization. And so we are faced with a choice here, and I take the choice of trying to save a little bit of what we are by looking at white women like Amorant who, who have made it a commerce to sell white beauty out there and say, that is too much. She went too far, and we should warn the young ladies of today, don't go the way of Amorant you would have a good path for yourself having babies at 19, 20, 22. And if you want to try stuff later, it's actually less grave. If, if we had ladies trying their hand at business, at streaming when they're 45, no problem. But we all know it won't happen. We all know it won't happen. Why? Because ultimately, the only thing that you have interesting to sell is your ass and your boobs and your fake boobs when they look fertile. But they aren't even fertile in your case. So careful out there. Lots of deception, lo lots of exploitation. And, you know, nature made it so that you have value, Amurant. You had value at 19 years old. Why didn't you get inseminated? then you would have given that value to only one man and you would have benefited from a rewarding family for it. 
now uh, you're headed toward having very low value and not even having the value of potential reproductive beautiful woman. 